Hello, this is Dilos Magde, and I'm your Bible teacher for this wonderful uh, tweet cast. You know, what I just want to start doing in this uh, new series is to begin to read out some of the powerful tweets I've done over the years just to be a blessing to the body of Christ. And, and I've got this beautiful one today on Gideon. Um, I'm just going to read through, then uh, begin to explain the context uh, and trust the Holy Spirit that this is going to minister to someone. Now, one of the first things I said about Gideon, we all know the story of Gideon in scripture. There was one man that, um, even in Hebrews 11, the Bible says, time will fill me to talk about Gideon. That means Gideon represents uh, those timeless truths about the message of faith, those timeless dimensions of the faith message. And one of the first things I, I tweeted here about Gideon is that God has a way of revealing your purpose in the midst of crisis. You see, it is important for the people of God to know how to handle crisis. Whenever there is a crisis, whether economical, political, or social crisis, it's always a pointer to the fact that a leader is about to emerge and that God is about to reveal purpose. So crisis is a gap in the scheme of a thing. In the scheme of things, as a point out to the truth that somebody is about to emerge, somebody is about to come on the scene, somebody is about to happen. And in, in most cases, whenever there's crisis, the next significant individual that is about to happen is not usually the person that most people would approve of or would think would emerge at such a time as that. And uh, so I'm going to talk to everyone out there as Brother Gideon. So when I say, Brother Gideon, that means I'm referring to you. If that is your context, if that sits with you. So, so the next thing I said here is that Brother Gideon, in scripture, it's like many today. Number one, his context is wrong. His company is wrong. His conditioning is wrong. But surprisingly, he's the right man. <laughs> so imagine a man that is operating in the wrong context or with the wrong context in a wrong company with a wrong conditioning, and altogether, he's still the right man. And that is important that you don't write yourself off because certain other things about you are wrong. See, the context can be wrong, the company can be wrong, the situation can be wrong, the timing can be wrong, so many things can be wrong. But that does not rule out the fact that you are still God's man and that you are the right man. And that is very, very important. So we're talking about timeless dimensions, and that is what Gideon represented. And that is what you are in the scheme of things. So, you, I mean, again, not only is this man operating within a wrong context, and that's what I want to tell people as we begin a new year, that your context must be right. Your context must be right. You see, every other thing can be wrong. Once your context is wrong, and that is your paradigm, the way you view life, the way you view the dealings of God, the way you view what is happening to you must never, never be wrong. And one of the things that produced a wrong context for Barak Gideon was that he grew up in a conditioning that saw the act of God in their past tenses. I mean, the people talked about what God did to their fathers, but could not relate to God in the present tense. You see, whenever the God that you see is the God of the Bible, is the God that is the God of history, but that the God that is not contemporarily really relevant, then that context is always very wrong. It's going to make you to just be there and to be buried under the rubbles of conditioning that will never allow the mighty man of valor that is in you to come forth.